Do you ever see something that just makes you ask the big questions in life? Like, why are we here if just to listen to Aquafina rap? You know, originally I was going to be a good YouTuber and script this video, but like, some things just can't wait, you know? Now, I don't want to say that this is actually the worst thing that Disney has ever put out, considering that Disney has been around for a very long time and has said some things in the past and made a few oopsies with their portrayal of certain sensitive topics. I think that this particular song is so offensive to me because I care way too much about the original Little Mermaid soundtrack. And I think more people should. The Little Mermaid is one of the most tightly written and well-composed animated musical soundtracks of all time. It's basically the reason why animated musicals exist. Before Howard Ashman and Alan Menken came to the scene, The Little Mermaid was supposed to be just an average Disney movie. But Ashman suggested that the film be structured like a Broadway musical with the songs telling more of the story instead of just being there to sound nice. Of course, times have changed. No longer do we have the man that literally would stand in the studio with the singers and compose their every breath to make sure that the song was communicated properly. Now we have Lin-Manuel Miranda. I don't really think it's controversial anymore to say you dislike Lin-Manuel Miranda. At least I hope it's not because my face is on this video. I've never really liked his writing style. I find his writing to be very overridden. I find the rhymes to be very forced. I find the songs to lack structure. And you can see that worst in things like Encanto, especially Surface Pressure. Surface Pressure struggles because it is structured like a pop song, not like a musical number. A lot of the lines are completely redundant because Lin-Manuel Miranda just wanted to throw in more rhymes to prove that he could. It isn't able to effectively communicate its message about the true level of stress that the character is feeling. And if that's what happens when he tries writing something heavy and serious, imagine what happens when he tries writing comedy. Well, imagine no longer, because now we have the Scuttlebutt, a brand new addition to The Little Mermaid. In the original movie, the scene where Scuttle comes in to tell Ariel that Prince Eric is getting married lasts for about 20 seconds, which is a good amount of time for this scene. After all, Scuttle is a character that needs to be taken in small doses. I don't think anybody was asking for more Scuttle. But in 2023, we apparently needed a full musical number because Aquafina needed to rap. So let's see how this song starts. Wake up, wake up, wake up! What? Hey, have you not heard that scuttlebutt? Well then, problem one should be obvious. Aquafina is simply unpleasant to listen to. She has a grating and scratchy voice in this performance. You know, Disney used to pull people straight from Broadway for these roles. But I guess Broadway is no longer good enough. Instead, we need people who are funny and hip with the kids. Well, I was flying over land and sea and ear to the ground. Then I came flying here for you to see and hear what I found. So if you didn't catch that because you didn't want to listen to it, I don't blame you. But let me just recap for you that this award-winning professional lyricist, the best thing he could come up with was rhyming sea with sea and then found with ground. If that wasn't fourth grade poetry enough for you, the next line rhymes swamp with womp. All you aspiring songwriters out there, let that one sit for a minute. Remember the swamp! More amazingly, rhyming swamp with womp is actually not the worst part of this song, in my opinion. The worst part of this song is the next stanza. When humans dress out nice like they're penguins, throw rice for the pigeons, they're trying to blow up the pigeons. This should go without saying, but penguins and pigeons are not slant rhymes. They are two syllable words that have the emphasis on the first syllable, meaning that first syllable has to slant rhyme, not the second syllable. Pen and pitch don't slant rhyme very well. So the line ends up sounding very clunky, and even once you move past that, it just comes off as being lol random like it's 2008 and I'm on DeviantArt. The next attempted rhyme is Legends, and not only does that also fail to slant rhyme very well, it just adds another line that didn't need to be there and tells us nothing. I know it's a comedy song, but what good comedian have you heard just ramble and throw things at the wall to see what sticks? The song basically has nothing going for it musically, it's just the same beat over and over, so the lyrics have to make up for it, and they simply don't. From the women who wash all the clothes, to the hunter who arrows the bows. This is another example of a line and a rhyme that didn't need to be here. What does the hunters who arrow the bows have to do with anything in this song? And the next stanza has the same exact problem, it's all of these random phrases that don't really stick together. Like, I get it, that's Scuttle's personality, but that's not endearing or funny, it's annoying. This song could have been a 20 second scene because that's what it was in the original. It genuinely baffles me that they thought this was a scene that needed to be extended into a full song. Guys, we lost Le Poisson for this. 
you could argue to me that that song was pointless and didn't push the story forward at all, but you know what? It was funny. It was endearing. It was cute. It was clever. The lyrics were tightly written. I'll definitely take it over this two minutes of absolute nonsense. This might just be the worst set of lyrics I've ever seen in a Disney song. When I listen to a Disney song, I'm expecting the best from their lyricists because that's what they used to give. The lyrics in the scuttlebutt aren't clever or funny at all. In the third stanza, Scuttle starts randomly talking about how he doesn't know what a kiss is. What do you call it? The thing with the lips when they press. I don't have lips. I have a beak, so I guess. In the original, Scuttle gave the very important context to Ariel that it was Ursula who was going to marry Prince Eric. That was replaced by Scuttle not knowing what a wedding and a kiss is. Despite this scene being like five times longer than the original, it actually gives Ariel less context and less urgency. It was more focused on being funny than it was on actually pushing the story and the development further. To me, this all really speaks to the current level of quality control at Disney when it comes to their songs. I feel like they're losing sight of what made those amazing musicals amazing. It was the way that these songs were able to push the story forward and get out so much emotion. These songs built the characters and told us who they were. There's been a lot of comedy songs in Disney in the past, but they usually justify themselves in some way. And a lot of them aren't even liked. Consider Guy Like You from Hercules. Nobody likes that song. When people don't like the comic relief characters to begin with, they're not going to want to hear them sing an entire song. It makes me wonder why the scuttlebutt exists in the first place. Was it just there because they needed Lin-Manuel Miranda to make some original songs so they could put that on the marketing? I mean, probably. It's not a secret that Disney cares more about the marketing of its films than it does about their integrity. Not to be that guy, but I saw this happening the moment that they hired Lin-Manuel Miranda to do the lyrics for Moana. I knew he'd be more focused on writing these gimmicky pop songs with forced rhymes than he would be on actually telling a story. Now, Moana was fine enough, and Encanto has a couple good pieces, but the original songs in The New Little Mermaid make it seem like Lin-Manuel isn't even trying anymore. They know it's going to sell anyway, so why bother? And that's how you end up with this absolute stain on Disney's repertoire, the scuttlebutt. Don't worry, not all is lost. The next Disney movie, Wish, actually has no Lin-Manuel Miranda on it, so we are safe for now. But until then, everybody watch out for yourself. You don't know, Lin-Manuel Miranda might be right around the corner.